Greetings all, it's David Fuxa. So, at this point, I'm more or less played um, more or less all of the uh, World War II maps, but I made a mistake and I forgot about this one here, New World Order. This is um, another one of the uh, World War II maps, but it's a little bit different from the other ones. Um, as you can see, just from looking at it initially, there's a lot of factions in here. You've got the Germans, the Russians, the Italians, the French, the British and the Americans as you usually do. But you also have the Colonial French, the Finns, and the Romanians in here as well. So it adds a, whole, a few minor factions to this that you can play with. Um, we're going to make these guys more or less all medium AIs. And I'm going to play with uh, the Colonial French here. I'm also going to play the Finns, which is actually an, um, uh, you know, on the Axis side, but part of the reason I'm playing them is because they'll get wiped out real quick. And uh, you'll get to you know, sort of see another one of the factions while, you know, while I'm playing it. Um, British will be medium AI, Romanians will be medium AI, and I'll also play the Americans just so that we can have some ability to sort of, you know, end this game. I'll also go on endlessly if I don't. I'll say off the bat that uh, this is a very big map. Um, very big map. So this might be one of the few um, AAA videos where I might actually start cutting out some of the AI movement because it'll take a long time for uh, me to show off everything the AI has done. So I'm going to do it for, a few, for at least for the first few turns and possibly the first few videos. But um, pretty much, here's here's the way you can see it. The Germans are starting their move. They've already hit a ton of territories. And they've already hit me with their seven subs. I'm going to just kill one of their subs. So yeah, Germany, um, as you can see just from their first turn, they, they did a whole lot of moves on their first turn. Just because there's so many um, territories for them to conquer, as well as so many units that they have to move around. And this is a big thing about this map, there's a lot of units to move around all the time. And then they start building. There's Russia's move. They're going to hit the breeze down there. So I guess we'll start describing a few things that are going on. I got hit in Finland. What's going on pretty much in this game? You have um, an ex sort of expanded arsenal of allies for Germany. And you have France and the colonial French in there. Um, the French, the colonial French, the Finlands, and the Romanians are all minor factions that were added in. They um, were distinctly different than the uh, the Nazi Germans, or you know, for French, they were just you know distinctly different from the other guys. Uh, they were in there and they were fighting the war. France did get conquered very quickly, and as you know, you'll probably see from here, Finland will get conquered quickly, though they didn't get conquered until later. Um, but basically, they're all minor factions that sort of play into World War II. There's no technology research in this game. Um, there's no politics. It's pretty much just unit movement and strategy, strategic placement. There is a few special units that could pop up later, and you do have bunkers, but there's not a whole lot to uh, make use of. It really takes its turn. I'll note, by the way, that I'm I'm right down there. I'm cooling with French in um, Tunisia, Algeria, Morocco, and all down there in Africa. So the colonial French are separate from the, the French because the French get conquered. And Italy knocks out my fleet. And Italy moves around a little bit. 
as I said, there's a lot of unit movement in this game, and it doesn't stop. Uh, you know, it doesn't like uh, get like a little bit quicker as you progress in rounds. It's always going to be pretty damn slow in this um, specific game map. And there's the Franks trying to defend as much as they can before they get wiped out. Um, and they build some stuff. And here's our move, Colonial French. Alright, um, so first thing first, I'm just going to tell you a little bit how the turn order sort of works with uh, your turn. As you can see, just from the start here, I've got my combat move here first. I'm not building anything, I'm actually um, deliberately targeting stuff. Um, I got this... Uh, little parcel of land over here in Canada actually, which is my capital for Colonial French. Um, I've also got more or less all my territories down here in Africa, and I've got Syria and Lebanon over here. So I basically have sort of three, three different areas for the Colonial French to operate, over in Canada, over in um, Africa, and over there in Syria. Canada is more, I think it's just more is just a place to build ships if you want to. It's not really a, a major a major key player. More, more likely, you'll be doing a lot of action here in France. Uh, now, if there's another player, they probably would, would, would take in Tunis right away, but uh, he attacked you know, down here instead, because he's the AI, the Italians up there. Um, but anyhow, let's just see here. For my first turn, what do I want to do? I've got several options pretty much for what I can do. Um, and like I could attack like Creed out here, for example, on my first turn. That's going to possibly net me a couple points if I do that. I could also uh, maybe go up here and tar start, start targeting, tar targeting Turkey and stuff like that. Um, most likely, though, I'll probably hold off on doing anything on my first turn down here in Syria. In Africa, because the Italians did not attack me in uh, Tunis, um, I guess I sort of, you know, want to deal with them a little bit. We'll send uh, you to South for Tunisia to take that out. We'll send our artillery here and our tank here, a fighter here and free infantry here, and their purpose is pretty much to wipe out these three guys there. Um, now as you can see, that's a pretty much all my action there. I'm not going to be really be doing anything out here in southern Canada, so we'll just leave that alone. And um, that will be my combat turn. So let's just go uh, action and done. And battle in East of Tunisia. So we kill off two of his infantry, and you'll notice something. Um, I don't know why, but they don't show all the, all the dice rolls that, that they do in the other ones. It just says, like, you uh, got two hits and you rolled stuff. And I took one casually. I remain, I killed our artillery. He got another hit and killed our infantry. I don't really think it's, it's great how the dice roll works, but whatever, it's not really a big issue. So, we got a non-combat move now. We can move him there. Him there. Um... I probably want to move this guy to northern Tunisia, this guy to northern Tunisia. I want to start moving these guys sort of to start helping out as much as possible before I get rambuckled. Uh, you can start moving this way. You guys can go that way. Pretty much the first turn, I'm just um, sending guys out on their way. Moving the anti-aircraft back there. I think we'll move these guys up to Syria. And that will be the Colonial French's first turn. And I'm just going to say done. We're going to receive, receive some Persian units and press OK. So here's the Finns there next. The Finlands are, as you can see, a very, very small faction. They actually started with um, uh, this one down here, the Viberg territory, but the Russians took it from them. Um, the Finlands are on the Axis side. They, uh, they're pretty damn uh, outnumbered by a whole lot of Russians that are going to come in and destroy them. But they can do quite well in sort of holding off initially the uh, the Russian tide, so to speak. Um, I more or less want to play this very safely. So something I could probably do just for the first turn, I could send maybe three of these guys. No, we'll do that. We're going to send all the infantry, the artillery up there. I'm going to send this guy up here, and that's just, that's just pretty much to hold this territory, so um, 
uh, I guess, you know, he actually has to work to try and take out these uh, territories. And he can't attack um, me anywhere else in, like, Northern Finland, for example, tanks or... Well, I suppose it's just more or less to prevent him from this... Uh, now, you know what, we're just going to... We're just going to leave these guys to... Um, stay here, I guess. Yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, uh, I'm going to lose these territories probably to the Russians really quick. That's just pretty much how it works. But I can try and hold it off a little bit. Um, these guys are kind of sacrificial troops. Their job, more or less, is to try and kill off these initial approaching guys before they take me out. They aren't um, going to really survive very long. That's fine. That's their job. They're just to try and do as much damage as possible to the Germans before they take me out. Um, we'll send these guys that way, perhaps. I just want to make sure that the uh, the Russians indeed cannot hit me. He can't hit me up here in the um, the uh, Atlantic route, but he can hit me with the tank, tanks, fighters, and all this other stuff. Uh, I'm going to say, well, by the way, we'll actually use the bow calculator here. We're going to use the bow calculators, and uh, that's basically pressing control B. The, the bow calculator, how it works is you can calculate the odds to see what type of chance you have of winning or losing. So in this case, I have a 90% chance of winning the battle and killing off all of that. That seems like a fairly, you know, it's a it's a bit of a, a, mo a modest uh, unit value loss, so to speak. But if I take off this fighter, then it drops down to a fairly considerably, you know, similar odds. Though, you know, obviously a little bit tougher. I actually put this fighter back, perhaps, and I can actually drop off an infantry and... Now I've got 57. So basically, it just tells you a little bit about how the battle calculator works. So that's going to be our, our sort of um, our guys right there making their first go at it. I've got a little bit of a navy, so to speak. Not a whole great amount, but it's enough initially to um, stir up trouble, I guess. Um, I suppose what I want to do... The Russians can probably kill my navy without a second thought, so to speak. That's a destroyer and a transport out there. Maybe what I might do is we'll go out there and just try and just damage what I can before I get, you know, get destroyed with Finland, because that's what's going to happen. Um, usually what could happen, if uh, Finland was intended to hold, the Germans might send up some troops. They can do that, by the way, to uh, help guard you. But since I can't really um, hold off the Russians by myself, and I don't have like another player to do that for me, and not controlling the Germans at all, we're just going to, uh, you know, just keep our options very limited. Just destroy what we can, destroy what we can here, and then get overrun, so to speak. So done. Now, I'll note that uh, unlike the uh, colonial French, the Finlands actually start with a little bit of purchasing power. So here's where the uh, production phase takes place. After your combat move, you can decide where you're going to drop off troops. I'm going to build three infantry, and we're going to drop them all on northern Finland. And then we're going to do our, fin our finished battle. So we'll go to the sea zone, we'll kill the transport. And note that the transports can be taken as casualties first in this one. They, um, they're pawns in the game of destruction. They don't necessarily just transport troops. He missed. I missed again. Oops, I took a hit. Um, I don't think that the battleships have two hits in this one. But we can actually test that right now. It doesn't really matter if I lose this. So let's just hit our battleship. And that actually destroys our battleship, as you can see. We don't have another hit with our guy here. Let's just remain... And there we go, I got his destroyer. I don't even really care about losing the battleship so much as compared to the sub, just for a simple reason that the sub has perhaps a chance of surviving a little bit longer than the battleship. Anyhow, we took out his uh, his stuff out there. Battle in uh, Belmusk, this is uh, the place right next to us right here. We got two hits and I killed a couple of his infantry. I took a couple of hits, I'll lose a couple of infantry. We'll remain and do a little bit more damage, so... I destroyed two more of his guys. And he destroys two more of my guys. We remain yet again a little bit longer. I destroy two more of his guys. He just destroys one of them. And then we'll just kill his tank. So that more or less is just there to sort of, you know, wipe out those few troops with what, you know, what few troops here I can could, I could muster. We'll drop you back here. Um, I'm pretty sure that they're going to be able to take these two uh, places with the 
amount of troops I have on, on my borders, so there's nothing really to stop them from doing that. I probably should have hit right there, and I didn't, which is kind of stupid, but oh well. I've taken my turn, I can't really do anything, so that's it. Um, so yes, we're going to move our fire back here, we're just going to say done. I'll place three guys here, six, six troops, two tanks, and a fighter to guard against the, the, encroaching, the encroaching tide of Russians. And then we'll say done. So that's the finished turn. They're not a very strong faction. They get wiped out pretty easily, usually. If playing against the AI, uh, sadly. And then the Britons take their turn. As you can see, with the Britons, they've got a fairly big, um, you know, they got a fairly big game plan. They've got their, their selves in Egypt and around the Middle East over there. They've also got a couple places out in, um, you know, Canada, because those are technically. Um, they're technically Canadians, they're not British, but uh, during World War II, the Canadians were pretty much in control of the, of the Canadian forces. And then, of course, um, they got Britain. So, you're, you're noticing something. For the first turn of the Britons, they're pretty damn uh, concentrated on trying to kill off the neutrals. You'll find out that with the AI in this game, and pretty much probably players if you played against them as well, the um, the, the basis of this game is that um, Norway is like neutral at this point. Initially in World War II, they were actually conquered by the Germans because um, of, a, in, of an impending threat from Britain to do the same. Basically, uh, the, the Germans were getting uh, resources from the Swedish ore mines and all that, and other strategic reasons led to uh, the English wanting to come after the, the, um, the Nor Norwegians to try and take their country. So, in this case, uh, the Britons are actually invading them right now. There's the Romanians going. Romania is a fairly small faction, but they have a little bit of might with them. Do, 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 do. Yep, there's our uh, national anthem as the uh, Americans. I think for our first turn, we don't, you notice that we don't have a whole lot uh, going on just at the moment. We've got very limited troops, but lots and lots of production capabilities. 20, 14, 16, 14, 3, 5. Alright, well, let's see here. First things first, let's try and knock off some of these subs because uh, I don't mind losing. You know, potentially, all my ships that they're going to get destroyed anyways to possibly kill a bunch of those subs off. If you can't kill my airplane, so there's that. Uh, we're going to move. Mm, yeah, we're not. We'll move these guys here. Move what I can to uh, eastern USA. We'll move these guys all the way out to uh, North East. There's no really reason to leave them back in here because, you know, obviously the. Uh, the Germans and the Italians will never probably get over here unless uh, they're winning the game already. So our comment move is going to be to try and demonstrate the, those subs before uh, any harm comes, you know, or not really harm, but rather I want to kill them before they uh, damage me. Um, personally, power, we're not going to try and build anything initially. We're actually going to build four fighters, I think. And, um, you know, we're, we're not going to build a naval fleet until we get rid of these, like, subs, so to speak, so... That's what we're going to aim to do. Take care of the German subs and then push on to start aiding our allies over here. So, done. We're going to battle the uh, Germans. U-boats right there. Americans select sub casualties, so he obviously destroyed my guys. But at the same time, I took out two of his subs. And then, of course, he submerged. The purpose of that battle is more or less to try and take out what I can before he had a chance of, uh, you know, destroying my guys with those stuff the next turn. So, there we go, we destroyed off at least a couple of subs, that's not really great, but it's actually, you know, it's, it's good enough. Um, we're going to say done for the Americans, I'm just going to place our four fighters here in Washington, or not, Washington doesn't have a factory apparently. We'll place them uh, in Southern USA, I guess. And we'll press done. So that's the first round of combat. So American, as you, America, as you can see, doesn't have a whole lot to do at the beginning. It's that build. So that's what we're going to be doing for initial 
you know, playthrough of this, building of the Americans. And as you can see, the Germans are going to advance on France, and um, I'll probably tell you a little bit about the timeline, by the way. The timeline for this is basically 1939, just before um, uh, Germany, I guess, supposedly goes in on Poland. So, before um, the, you know, the Germans like, move in here on the first round, more or less all of that was neutral up there, and that's because Poland was uh, um, a neutral country allied to Britain and France. So Germany attacks it, and then they go after France uh, in round one. That's basically more or less kind of you know, synonymous to uh, the fact that in 1939, um, Germany declared war on Poland, France, and Britain all at once. It wasn't their intention, I guess, but, you know, whatever. Uh, now they're basically whopping into France. They're also, it's a little bit early going after the Soviet Union in, in this game. Obviously, that didn't happen until a little bit later, but they're, um, they basically have it so, like, there's no politics. It's just uh, all the allies on all the axis in this game. Looks like the, uh, well, yeah, we knew they were, were going to hit one of those territories. They're going to hit those territories with what they can. I know that Russians are gonna Russians are gonna beat me back really easy, right? So just do what I can to take what I can. Oh, I took I took out one of the infantry. Another infantry. And then of course they uh, go after the Romanians and other stuff all over the place. I'll note that in this game, the main players are the Russians and the Germans. The uh, the Englands and the Americans, you know, they become players as the game progresses, but initially, the, the real players of this game are Russia and Germany. Italy's also going after colonial Franks and sort of mixing things up with uh, Britain down in the south, but really, the core of what happens is right here at the sort of, you know, the millstorm of German and uh, other troops. Looks like Italians took a English territory. They're going to hit me in northern Tunisia. Going to hit me with a, down in southern Tunisia. Looks like we actually held off on uh, the attack from. Uh, Libya or Tripoli down there with the Italians, interesting enough. That's actually really nice. So, Italy's kind of strong, I guess, in the beginning. They can more or less dominate if they, if they choose to, all the uh, stuff down there, if they do it right. Looks like France is trying to do what it can to hold off the German threat as they encroach on their territory. This is how France more or less plays out in the beginning. Alright, French combat move. Um, I still really don't have anything to sort of, you know, do here in Syria just yet. The, uh, Engl Engl um, the English obviously came and took out one of the territories, that's fine. Um, more or less what I probably want to do over here is maybe take out one of these territories mainly. I might be able to take out uh, Central Turkey if I build up a few troops here, but we'll have to wait until they do that. Uh, we'll be able to do that at this, you know, this round we'll be able to build them, and the next round we'll be able to use them. Down here, I guess what I want to do is I'll take out Tripoli with an artillery and an infantry. I'll take out Northern Tunisia with what I can. I think I can possibly do that. Let's actually check our battle cal calculator once again. So here's where we press Control B. And we're going to calculate the odds. I have a 91% chance of winning with uh, what I sent at him, so let's do it. Let's take out those uh, infantry and artillery of what I can right there. And um, that will probably be my turn, I think. So let's get this underway. And then we get our purchasing uh, turn, because obviously, um, once, I, once I actually have purchasing power, I can actually purchase stuff. 
Um, I want to, over here in Tunisia, obviously I want to build up some defenses. So I can probably stand to build four infantry in Tunisia. That will help to um, stem off the attacks that the uh, Italians here can really do on me initially. They can still um, send like a couple troops here and outside of that to hit me in Tunisia, but more or less I think I can hold my ground a little bit to uh, keep them at bay. Um, I also want to be able to build some guys up here, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to build a couple infantry. Actually, maybe I'll build, build a couple elites. I'm not sure if those get support by, uh, supported by artillery though, so... But whatever, these guys are more or less attacking over here, so we'll build a couple of elites. Um, I might actually wait an, another turn to build some, a couple of infantry just to make sure I have enough to take out the uh, turkey, turkey stuff over there. And then I still have a little bit more money. I can probably stand to build um, some MOT infantry. I'm not sure what MOT stands for, but uh, more or less they're going to build uh, some defensive stuff that I can send down the coast as needed from central Morocco is really quick. So that'll be the plan. And I press done. We'll have our battle in northern Tunisia and Tripoli. So let's go with Tripoli. I knock out his infantry there. So he's now gone and out of the way. And this is the big one. For you know, this little battle guy. He hits me twice. Oh, that's not good. Um, that's a really big leap to try and take him with all that. Well, let's try it. Remain. Oh, that's bad. He only hit once. He had another time. Okay, it's not worth trying to lose my tank, my fire to take on the rest of them, so let's just retreat to uh, Tunisia. So I retreated to Tunisia because I don't think I, I could have had a chance of holding him off there. We're going to just guard what I can in here in Tunisia with uh, my anti-aircraft, my infantry, and my tanks. Since um, I don't think he, uh, he, the Italians can take out Tunisia with their fighters and other stuff if I have all this defense there with the stuff of the building, so perhaps I can hold them off. I'll send these guys down this way. You can go that way. These guys are coming over to help as much as possible before I get run over. And keep moving. I have to move you to Tunisia. We'll place these four here. These two guys obviously here. And I'll place the two Marines over here. And then, of course, the Finns. They aren't uh, doing too well, are they? They're getting their asses kicked. That's more or less to be expected. So I'll note that the Russians, they have uh, five tanks they can hit me with, uh, 11 infantry. There's probably no chance in hell that I'll be able to survive the, uh, the coming battle, especially with the Britons over here also joining the mix. I'll take that territory just because it's there, and hopefully it might, you know, um, cause the Russians to look another way. And we'll build what we can before we get overrun. So I'll note that by the way the Britain or the Germans actually have their guys up there too. I can't really do much with them, but they're there for use. Much like in the original game, destroyers like this guy can be used to uh, destroy subs, so I won't be very careful with uh, my sub and not losing it, but if possible, I want to try and use them a little bit. So we'll try. Let's just send them somewhere. Somewhere where he won't get destroyed, but somewhere. I think we'll send them down here. Because that's uh, far enough away from any of these guys to hit me. He might come after me, but that's fine. It's going to take him turns to do that. Alright, so... The uh, Northern Finland, I'll just uh, note that this guy, you can build quite a few troops in uh, Northern Finland here. It's got a production value of 6, probably the highest of the minor factions. I mean, you've got, um, this one's just a free, this one, or that's the so colonial French. The um, Romanians over here, they've got a 4. So, outside of like, you know, France, which is going to get destroyed anyways, the guys that are surviving um, this is a, a, a fairly uh, strong strong base for uh, building troops initially. So obviously it'll be taken by the Russians and they'll have access to it sadly, but it's there. So let's see, we're going to buy... What can I buy? 
I can build up to six infantry, and hopefully that'll be enough to sort of hopefully hold back the uh, Russian Tide and maybe survive another turn. So I'm just going to uh, say done. And we're just going to hold the line as much as possible before the Russians can come and destroy us. So done. And one moment, I'm being called. So, uh, well, I guess I'll let you just watch that while uh, I answer the phone. Alright, just a quick phone call there. And it looks like someone came after my, uh, the submarine somehow. I guess these bombers that the British have can destroy me. That's too bad. Well, he destroyed him. So I guess the Britain had, uh, sub-hunting capabilities there. It's not a bad thing to lose that Finnish unit. I mean, eventually I'm gonna get destroyed with the Finns in this game. But, the thing is that, um... It's good to learn that, I guess, that way. Okay, the Romanians take their turn. They're going to uh, capture Odysseia and take out the Russians in East Romania. Americans' comet move. I don't really have a comet move with the um, Americans, but I do have a building move. So we're just going to press down the combat, and we're going to start building up our stuff. All right, so uh, he's got a lot of subs out there. The best way to deal with subs is obviously destroyers. So we'll build a couple of those. I also want to build. What else do I want to build? Note that uh, the cruisers look like battleships in this one. I guess I confused that a little bit. But whatever. The battleships are this one right here. He has, um, you know, better stats than the cruiser and he can take two hits. We also want to build, I guess, a couple... I suppose I don't really care about cruisers too much. But I really do want to build subs. They're, um, they're good for mopping up damage from other subs, or other, you know, naval sea battles and such. Also, I want to build maybe a carrier. Maybe we'll build two carriers. And I guess we'll build another sub. So, that's what we're going to build. That'll be, um, our forces to try and, uh, deal with these uh, guys over here. We're going to press done. I really can't build any, you know, do anything, so we're just going to say no. And you note that you can move stuff from seven years to a carrier. So now those guys are now on top of my uh, lovely little uh, stuff right there. You're not going to get attacked by um, the submarines out there, but they're easily preserved and no one's going to kill them. So, that's the American turn. Round two is out of the way. On to round three. He does a little bit of a blitzkrieg in France. It's going to attack the Russians up there, attack what's rest down to the French down there. Usually French can hold out a few turns, and there goes the last uh, Polish place. <clears throat> As you can see, the Germans officially expand. They're pretty damn good at expanding when they need to.
So that's more or less out of the way. All that's really left for Germany to do is to take out those, those couple little places of France over there. Toulouse down there at the south. And they've taken out all of uh, France, so to speak. A little Switzerland there with the eight bunkers. Heavily defended, but not very capable of doing anything else. So yeah, they're going to blitz me up there. Are they going to attack me on the first turn? If they left me alone up there in Northern Finland, I'm more than thankful to let them do that. I don't think they will, but they could. He moves a whole lot of infantry up to say hi. So yeah, it's they're I'm basically going to get myself conquered here in um, northern Finland. That's what happens with the Russians. They have more than enough troops to eventually send at you, taking you out. If Germany helps you, then you can stave off the threat for a little bit, but... The AI should have no problem with taking me out. That was actually kind of convenient of him doing that. Notice that the Italians are going after Spain. That's something that uh, you can do in this game. Spain offers some some interesting little bits of uh, income to pick up if you want it. It also has a couple producing sources of Madrid and Barcelona there. Alright, here goes um, the Franks trying to do what they can. He, he's basically doing everything he can to hold off the, the coming tide. Alright, Colonial Franks, what can I do with you? So, if we were to try, try to attack up here, I'll note that um, with the bow calculator, it says I would have a 97% chance of winning. But I will lose probably about half my units, which is not something I want to do. So we're going to actually hold off, as I said, on attacking up there, I think. And we're just going to just concentrate down here a little bit more. So we know that um, I built this guy. He could go up to Normandy, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to send him this way. The purpose of that is to take out, as you can see, right down there, um, those guys. We'll send a couple of these guys there or yeah I'll we'll send the artillery and this guy down there well that's probably enough to kill it easily enough these guys can move over here take that back you guys can go there and over here I think an infantry and two uh, and a fighter should be more than enough to kill that but just to make sure we'll send the tank because the tank can it can move around easily enough send these guys just right down here. So yeah, we'll probably be able to kick out the Italians from this area for now until they come back over. It's going to be really threatening if they take out Spain and get more income, but we'll have to wait and hope that they don't, you know, get too strong. So done. We're going to, uh, on this turn, build some infantry in Syria. Those are just can of fire to keep you know, me, you know, from... Uh, I'm basically building those guys there in Syria just so that I can go over here and take out... Uh, Turkey, or I could also take out Iran, which would give me more ability to build over here, which might be a good idea. Maybe I'll do that. I'll take out um, Iran so I can build more guys over here and then take out the stuff over here. Note that this is like a really defensive option over there between the Romanians coming at you. And also, if you get these things producing stuff, then you can send the guys up that way with the Colonial French, which is what I, I think I'll probably plan to do in the long term. Um, down here, I probably want to build one of these guys in Tunis, and I'll build three of those guys in Tunis, and then in Morocco, I'll probably maybe build off um, 
three more of those guys. So let's build all of that for defending ourselves initially, and then we'll start building a few more um, counter off of offensive type units, because at this point I'm starting to lose my infantry, and I'm going to have to build more. So done. He kills off one of those infantry. He kills off nothing. So there goes the Italians. They're out of the way. They're gone. They won't be bothering me anymore. For now. We're going to place... Those guys there and this guy here. Those guys there. And with those guys there, I should be able to uh, take out Turkey if I want to, or maybe we'll go after Iran. We'll see. So done. And the Finns. They've been kind of cornered a little bit here. Um, I'm not sure we'll survive. Maybe we will. We'll, maybe we won't. We'll have to see. Um, this tank out here is actually kind of open. I'm actually thinking that it might be worthwhile to consider sending a couple guys to kill that tank. It'll pick up uh, a territory and hurt his offenses a little bit, and I can move the fire back, so that's what, you know, might be worth it. Um, so, at this point, I might consider uh, how am I going to defend myself. He's got quite a few infantry. I know I'm going to get a oh, bum rush, but how's the best way I can sort of defend myself against those infantry is a thing. Um, I could build a fighter which has four defense, mo one of infantry, and we'll build one of those. But I don't really have enough for that. So you know what, let's just build three more of these guys, I guess, and then we'll get to, I guess, destroy the next turn. So done. We're going to do our comet move and hopefully kill off this tank. And I had no hits, and he had one. Remain. Took out the tank. You took out my infantry. I don't really care about taking the territory. Is this the purpose was to kill that tank, not to take the territory? We move back here. You guys get built here, and then we'll get basically bum rushed by the, the Russians. You know, massive infantry and tanks over here. So here goes the Britons. The United Kingdoms. He's doing what he can to hold off the uh, the Germans in Paris. So, you know, uh, Paris can hold out a little bit longer. Paris is worth quite a bit of personal powers to the uh, Germans if, you if they take it. He's going to continue his invasion of Norway. And he's going to take out one of those places over there in Turkey. I want to watch the AI that doesn't take Ankara or Izmir. I don't mind if it takes Izmir, actually, but I do want to take at least one of them. So, those four tanks, if they can, you know, if they can possibly take out one of those places, I want to be really careful of it, them doing so. There's the Romanians taking Kerm, the island right there. Or maybe it's a peninsula, I don't know. Alright, we're back with the Americans. I'm sort of tempted to go after the subs out there. But the problem is I don't really want to lose stuff just yet, so... We're going to say... We're not going to do any combat this turn. We're just going to keep building up our naval fleet for the first turn here. Um, I'm going to build a couple cruisers. Maybe a couple battleships. I think we'll build another carrier and a fighter. We'll try to build in our fire in the near future, so... Um, actually, let's do it this way. I'll build in our sub. We'll build uh, only one cruiser, and then I'll build me a couple cruisers later. So, build all this. Our non-combat move is going to be to move everything up here to right there. purpose of doing that is that uh, I can, you know, move this fighter down here and basically mass all those guys at the same place. So, done. Place all these guys here. And next turn, I can move this fighter over there. So note that I can move them that time around. You have to have your uh, your ships, I guess, so that they're building them there the first time to put the fighters in there too. 
So that was um, the end of round three. I'll note that uh, round four is kind of special for production. We get to build special units at this point that we couldn't before. Looks like Germany's going to go for the big rush on uh, Paris with what they can. The Germans are pretty much come up to uh, the gates of uh, Leningrad up there. And they've got the German production frontier changed to production German special. They're no longer restricted to the basic units that they started off with. This is where it starts to get a little bit slow with this uh, triggering. I don't know why, but whatever. We'll have to wait. Wait, wait, wait. But anyhow, all the all the factions in this game get like special units that they can use. I think. Wow, they actually held him off in Paris. It might be the Italians that take out Paris in this game. Well, they took that one last territory there. He moved those subs away real quick. He's not uh, stupid about losing them. Note that, much like in all the other games, Gibraltar blocks the access of the access in and out of the Mediterranean. You have to take out Gibraltar to be able to move through there. That's actually a hot spot, by the way, Gibraltar, and I, I hear for multiplayer games. So it looks like Jeremy built some stuff. Oh, they're going to go after North Turkey with what they can. And here he comes to Finland. So we knew he was going to come eventually, right? And fourth turn, here he comes to take me out. They're going to do what they can to push back Germans who pushed into uh, their territory too far. Jeremy really spread Finn to take their territories there. Don't know why. All I do is because they're AI, but... Here's the uh, Russian special that takes a little bit of time to do. I'm not exactly sure what all the different special units do. Alright, I took nine ca casualties to uh, the Russians on the first turn. Let's see how much damage I do back to, back to them. I, I took out only six. Yep, we're definitely going to lose this without... Yeah. Doing much. So, we lost Finland. The powerhouse Russians took out Finland without, you know, much say to it. So that happened. We are down one faction. I knew it was going to probably happen in this game just because I'm playing as AI. Um, with other players, you might be able to save Finland a little bit longer, but oh uh, well. There's a suggestion for the Russians up there that big tank for the long nozzle. Here comes the Italians down here again. And the Italians are going to try and take Paris with what troops they have around uh, the French capital. I don't think they'll have much problem doing so. So, there goes France. France is down to one territory, the uh, island there in the Mediterranean, the Karkuska. Outside of that, they're pretty much done. They have like maybe a couple ships around that haven't been destroyed perhaps, but they're done. So Italy builds around a little bit. All right, 
right, what's my comment move with uh, these guys? I think... Let's see how much damage I can do to a ran initially, I guess, just to see if it might be worth trying to consider taking out a ran. So, if I do this... I'm definitely going to win. I'll take out that and I'll be able to build up more forces really quick. That might be worth doing. I could also send him toward um, Ankara up here. That would require going through this, uh, these guys right here, the bunker and these two troops. This bunker, those four troops, and the uh, tank over here in Ankara. That's also possibly worth doing. Um, let's uh, just battle calculate this again. I'm going to uh, say that he has an additional troop in a bunker, because that's what they're there. Calculate odds. So I wouldn't have much chance of winning them with this little few guys. So you know what? It's definitely worth trying to build up right now. So we'll try and take out Oran just to have that, you know, for building up stuff over there. Over here in the um, Atlantic, he left his transport open, so we'll kill that. I'm going to kill off Tripoli with um, what guys can reach, more or less. And I've got to watch out on this, like, sort of frontier for... Um, these transports that he's got there. The Britons do have their guys there. They could possibly take him out, but... Um, no guarantee they will. I don't know why he's got troops out here, or how he got him out there for, for that matter. Maybe he had a ton of ships up there or something. Looks like France still has a battleship over there, so... The French do still have a battleship. If they, you know, get lost. Alright, um... I want to leave these three guys over here to sort of defend. We also build troops over in that direction. These guys over here will just move over to uh, guard, like, um, Tunisia is more or less what their plan will be. I guess what we want to do is we'll move these guys like this. And their job will be to hit um, northern Algeria or Tunisia initially if it gets conquered. I'll probably want to move these guys over to central Algeria when I get a chance, and I probably actually can do that now with what I can. Send these guys over there. I assume that the uh, the Italians, they, they'll probably send like stuff over to the coast across the uh, from the factories over here, which they got the transfers to do if the Britons don't take them out, so we'll be prepared for that. And uh, we'll say go. So we got ourselves our special units. We've got for the Colonial Franks the Super Sub and the Big Armor. Super Subs, as you can see, they've got free, 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 so they move they're basically uh, more powerful than the submarine and more powerful than the destroyer. There's also big armor. That's basically a uh, bigger armor. I might build some big armor, but I think what we're going to do initially is just build infantry for over here. I'm going to build more infantry, I think, in Syria. And in Tunisia, we're going to build... One of these guys, one of these guys, one of these guys, and this. And that should use up all my points to build up troops over here. So, Iran is down. I lost um, one of my infantry doing so, but now we've got basically the ability to build four guys here at once if I need to, and then I can just send this away. I killed that transport because it's annoying and I don't want them sending, ferrying over more guys to attack me. He's just dead for the, for the point of being dead. I'll note by the way that they make you attack these uh, um, mult infantry when you uh, are selecting casualties. Unless you, um, you know, don't really care about, or unless you're like, I guess the thing about this, if you're going to sacrifice these guys um, for those guys, only do it if, uh, I guess, um, I don't know why you would sacrifice the uh, infantry over the regular infantry. Just don't do it. Alright, so that's done. He'll go back to Tripoli. And it's going to build four infantry here. And that's just, you know, a little bit of defense sort of in central Morocco. Tunisia is just going to build one, two, three, and this guy there. That's some more defenses over here. And then we're just going to build here in Syria and build two guys right there. I'll note that the um, the, the Axis do have guys over here. Mm 
they could send more forces, naval forces, to try and, you know, kill us in the Mediterranean, but they haven't yet, which is good. Looks like Britain's going to try and kill the uh, Germans in there. They're going to try to South Sweden. Notice that they skipped the Finnish turn. Because Finns, like, the Finns are dead. They don't have any units. They don't have any production. They're just dead. And he's going to amass a whole lot of guys on central Turkey's border of those tanks, which is... It's okay if he goes after Iraq, but hopefully he doesn't go after... Central Turkey. Alright, Romanians get to build their stuff. He's got a few forces down there. Romania is a fairly small faction. Do, 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 do. Alright, well, I got these guys out here. Um, I probably have more than enough uh, to fend off any incursions now that the, the sub sort of, you know, retreated. I could actually try going after these guys down here too if I want to. Um, he's only got transports and subs out there, so... What we're going to do, we're going to send these guys down here. All of them. And... Okay, I don't have the movement power to move my uh, aircraft all the way down there, but these guys are just going to start pushing these guys um, a little bit. You're into the Mediterranean, destroy them, or whatever we're going to do with them. That'll be their job. I'm going to build a bunch of transports to start ferrying guys across. Initially, I've got two, five, eight, eight infantry, a tank, two tanks, guys from Washington. I'm going to need a lot of uh, transports, just to say the least, so... We're not going to bother trying to think about what I'm going to, uh... Well, I guess I'll build a few infantry. But, more or less, we're going to need a lot of transports to transport all these guys across. So, done. And we're just going to do non-combat this turn. I, what I think we'll do for non-combat, I want to move these guys out of Washington because it's hard for me to see them. These guys can go there, and you can go here. So, i got nine infantry. Or 11 infantry, 2 artillery, 2 tanks, and uh, a bomber. We're going to basically build a large force to start faring over in this direction. Take out some stuff. And we'll place these guys. Alright, well this will be it for the first episode. Um, it's been a long hour. But more or less, this is like the opening start, so, so to speak, of uh, AAA. I guess with the um, AIs. With players, it's probably a little bit different, quite a bit different, I assume. We'll see how it continues, though, in the next episode.